Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna take a little adventure into the weird world of Forever 21 collabs. So there's been this weird phenomenon with Forever 21 that I only noticed a few months ago, but it's really vamped up, I'd say like the past month, where they make collaboration lines, which is pretty common, you know, one thing X, another thing, very normal in the fashion space. But Forever 21 does these collabs with brands that would never normally make clothing. So for example, Forever 21 X USPS. USPS is in the United States Postal Service. Hot Cheetos, Honda, <laughs> like brands that don't make clothes, but for some reason are collaborating with Forever 21. I was in New York City a few weeks ago. If you didn't see those vlogs, check out my vlog channel. But while I was walking through Times Square, I saw a giant billboard in Times Square, which let's just roll the clip. Forever 21 X Ford. That's Cheetos. And it got me thinking, first of all, what are these clothes actually like? Second of all, why? And third of all, are people actually buying these to wear or just as like a gimmick? So we're gonna, we're gonna investigate all of that. If you're new to my channel, do make sure to subscribe and join the family. We are on the long road to 1 million subscribers and I would love to have you here. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So click that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Let's see the first item. So the first item we have are the Pepsi biker shorts, like Pepsi as in the, the soda brands, they're now making shorts. Pepsi biker shorts, I got these a 1X and they were $17.90. You guys already know I'm pretty hot and cold on biker shorts. Then plus the fact that they're white and they're Pepsi branded, I'm just gonna be a walking billboard in an item of clothing I don't really like anyways. But uh, we had to get the matching top. Of course. We have the Pepsi crop top. This is like a one shoulder kind of top, same exact print as the shorts. I got this in a zero X and it was $14.90, but we have one more piece to complete the Pepsi ensemble. This is the Pepsi sun visor. It was $12.90. This is like the nice cherry on top of my Pepsi ensemble. So let's see it all together. Okay, so it's hard to get past the fact that I am a walking advertisement and like actually talk about the fit and like the quality, but I'm gonna try my best. So first of all, I think we can all agree, this is ridiculous. Like the overtly just repeated Pepsi logo on the top and the bottom and the hat is like, where are you wearing this? What's the vision? Is it Coachella? Is it to Trader Joe's? Is it to like an event? Is it for like an Instagram baddie photo shoot? Like, I don't know. <laughs> also, I get that the outfit is like trendy, even though it's not my style without the branding, like this kind of like one shouldered little crop top and the biker shorts, very in right now, not my thing, but very in. But the visor, like I get that some visors are in right now, but this is very much like an old man visor. Like this is what you wear when you're like selling Pepsi at like a, a baseball game and you're like ice cold Pepsi, get your Pepsi. It's not cool. It's not in, it's not like, there's nothing cool about the hat. I mean, there's not that much cool about the outfit, but the hat especially, I just don't, I don't get the hat. I'm actually surprised at how okay I am with the items themselves, like the fit. I'm so glad I sized up in these biker shorts because since they're white, even the slightest bit of pull would have made them see-through. And these are like a little bit big on me, which is so nice. The waist is elastic, so they stay up. But then this, I have some extra fabric, so I'm not showing skin. Surprisingly not too see-through too. A little bit in the back. I wouldn't wear these as shorts, but not as bad as I expected. The camel toe situation though, still pretty bad. Like definitely would not want to wear these out and about. <laughs> and the top actually fits great. I got this in a zero, which is usually what I am in Forever 21's plus size section. And it's nice. It's got a little bit of like looseness around the edge. It's not like skin tight or anything. Even though it's one shoulder, it doesn't dip down super low. It's kind of straight across. So I'm not super bothered by it, even though I did have to wear a strapless bra which I don't like. And then the quality, it's okay. It's like right on par for Forever 21. I'd give it like a six out of 10 for quality. If this is your style, like if this is something that you would actually buy, please genuinely, I wanna know what the appeal is. Let me know down in the comments because I clearly don't get it. It is kind of fun though that they have like a little Pepsi can on the tag. I like that touch, but wearability, not super there. Overall, I'm gonna give this collab, uh, I'm usually pretty like objective with my ratings. This video is gonna be completely subjective, fully just my opinion, I'm putting it out there. I'm gonna give this Forever 21 collab a four out of 10. I think the quality is all right. The fit's pretty good. Sizing's fine. The design is a big no from me, but it could be worse. So let's go on to the next. 
for my next outfit, we are doing the collab that started this all for me, the USPS Priority line. This is the USPS Priority tube top. I got into a large, it was $8.99. It is so small. I don't know how this is gonna fit, but at least it's gonna make me a priority. So uh, let's see it. Oh my gosh, why? Why is any of this happening? So first of all, uh, let's just address the elephant in the room. The fit and the sizing is not for me. <laughs> this is such a small little bandeau already. And then the fact that I'm really more like an extra large in standard sizing at Forever 21 and this is a large. Now, I actually think I like this more than the Pepsi one because at least it's funny. Like it's making a statement. It has like a meaning other than the brand. It doesn't just say USPS like the Pepsi one did. I think it's kind of funny. It's like, yes, I am the priority. My boobs are the priority. <laughs> Unlike the Pepsi one where I literally couldn't think of a single application where it would work, I can kind of have, I have like an image in my head for when someone would wear this. Imagine you're a sorority girl like I once was. You were ready to go to the big frat party that night. Maybe it's frat Lantis. Maybe it's Fratalina wine mixer, but no. Today is the mail shipment uh, packaging party. Yeah, it's a packaging party. You're, everyone's coming dressed up as uh, different shipping labels. And oh, look, Forever 21 has a USPS collaboration. And this is like a cute little sexy tube top. You can wear some little high-waisted shorts, maybe do your hair all cute. Put a little like shipping label in your ponytail. It's a nice look. It could totally work for a very specifically themed sorority party. If you're a sorority girl, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause there are some very weird themed parties in college. But regardless, I don't really see very many other applications in which this would work, but I actually think this is better than the Pepsi one in terms of like wearability and design. Cause you could layer this under a little like denim jacket. I personally wouldn't but you could. Whereas the Pepsi one is just like, there's not really any use for it. I think the quality is pretty low. It does not feel like very sturdy at all. Quality's pretty low. For the sizing and the fit, honestly, also very low. It's just not great for anyone who's got something going on up top. Overall, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of 10. It's just not for me, but at least it's kind of funny. Okay. So the next collab I wanted to try, this one was like all over Twitter. This is the Hot Cheetos X Forever 21 line. And personally, I love Hot Cheetos. Like ever since I was in high school, get my little bag of Hot Cheetos, my little treat, I love it. But would I wanna wear a Hot Cheetos bedazzled crop top? I don't know. Let's find out. So the first item we have, the Cheetos Rhinestone Boxy Graphic Tee. I got this in a size large. This one was $17.90. And what I love about this is it, it literally, the inside tag is a bag of hot Cheetos. The outside tag, also a little box of hot Cheetos. Like that just kind of, this that kind of makes the clothing for me. I know, the tags. But like, it's kind of funny. I'm kind of here for it. I feel like I would rather rock a hot Cheetos shirt than like a USPS shirt. Cause I am kind of a hot Cheetos fan girl, but I wouldn't say I'm like a stan for the United States Postal Service. Hot Cheetos though, sure. But we did get one more item, which Skylar is gonna help me with. <laughs> I saw this hot Cheetos bodysuit. Like it's literally a bag of hot Cheetos on a bodysuit. And I was like, I need this. I need to try this for the video. And they only had it left in a small. So Skylar's gonna do the honors. This is the Flamin' Hot Cheetos bodysuit. It is $24.90. Skylar's gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear the rhinestone crop. We're just gonna be like the little Hot Cheetos dynamic duo. So let's make it spicy. Let's put them on. I kind of love this. This is so much. <laughs> it's so much. We were joking that we look like the twins from The Shining, but like hot Cheeto. Yeah, version. but like we're like hot Cheeto. Cheeto. <laughs> You've chosen to go brawless. Yeah, should we I... talk about that? Should we talk about mine and then yours? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I know this is like an in thing right now to wear the super short crop tops that show your under boob like this, but uh, I hate it. And I literally feel like a gust of wind could turn me into a porn star any second. <laughs> I mean, love that for Steven. <laughs> I feel like that's actually probably the most, the most wearable, wearable thing. I think this is funny because like I said, at least like it's it's some sort of design other than just the logo. Like it's got the bedazzled, it's like a cut crop. Also it's hot Cheetos. So it's like funny, you yeah. know, like it's- I feel like my 13 year old sister would actually wear that. You know what? And I think 13 year old me would have worn this too. And yeah. honestly, if anything in this video is actually gonna get wear from me, it's probably this. I feel like you might wear that. It's kind of funny. Like I- Like I, around the office. For sure. 
but with a bra. <laughs> and also this keeps crinkling. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like a little mini bag of I hot Cheetos. I like, like, I just can't take it seriously. I wish they put, wait, I want to open it. I wish they put a hot Cheeto in there. Just and one. Just one. Just and then, singular... but no, it's empty. So it's a little sad. Okay. I feel like the bodysuit is definitely funnier than the top, but less wearable. Okay, this is the worst bodysuit I've ever worn. But I'm just gonna... <laughs> so I'm, so I'm always just a small at Forever 21. I can be a small or a medium. Yeah. I'm only 5'4", so I've never in my life had an issue with a bodysuit being like too short in the crotch area. Right. Like literally never. Yeah. This is so crazy. It's, first of all, it's cut like this. Like it's cut like an 80s, like it pretty much ends right here. <laughs> Also, the back is so low cut, like you could not wear a bra with it. No, it goes down to like your butt. And you couldn't wear underwear because this is so high cut. Yeah. So like you're just supposed to go commando. And it's completely flattening your chest. Yeah, I'm usually like a D cup. I'm a solid B. In this. <laughs> Which is fine, but she's not the most comfortable. It's kind of like a gymnast suit. Like yes. what are the, like a like a unitard or whatever. And, and it's swimsuit material. Which oh, is very But it's not a swimsuit, right? No, like it has snaps. Huh. Which also I feel like is kind of concerning if you're going commando and then there's just like <laughs> some snaps. snaps. Also, I feel like the best part of this design is like Chester down here, but with bodysuits, you wear them with like high waisted things. Right. So is that just supposed to be like your personal secret? Like I've got Chester the Cheetah. Oh, like, uh, you want to see what's in my pants? my pants? It's Chester the Cheetah. <laughs> it's a lot for me, but for someone else, I would love that. If I saw someone at Coachella wearing that, I would be like, oh my gosh, I love your bodysuit. I feel like didn't Nikki Demar wear something like that to Coachella this year? <sighs> Maybe she did. Editor I'm Rachel, sure. insert something if she did. <laughs> okay, overall rating on this. I give this like a two. I think the material is bad. The fit is bad. I feel like the design is bad. Like Chester's hidden. I love when you're brutally honest. <laughs> I think the quality and the wearability on this top is definitely better than the others. Mm -hmm. I would give it like a, maybe a seven out of 10 for both quality and wearability. Um, In terms of fit, it fits like a true large. Like I said, I'm usually an extra large at Forever 21 and it fits me fine. I'm gonna give this one with my overall rating. I think I'm gonna give this one like a six and a half out of 10. Like yeah. it's really not the worst thing. It's kind of funny. I like the bedazzled. I, I might wear this. The next collab we are looking into is their collab with Honda, which honestly kind of seems like a conflict of interest because they also have a collab with Ford. So uh, they're apparently not exclusive with their car dealership collaborations. Apparently it's just a free for all. So we went with the Honda look. So we have the Honda graphic racing jersey. I got this in a zero X and it was $16. And to match, we have the Honda graphic racing pants in a extra large and these were $45. Now these are actually the men's line. I would say that when we were ordering the Honda collaboration was definitely the most inclusive. They had plus size and standard sizing and men's. So we went for the men's because I just thought these were the coolest looking. But some of the other collaborations, especially the Hot Cheetos one, were just small, medium, large, which made it a little bit more difficult for me to order as a mid-sized girl. But Honda, the Honda collaboration is very woke apparently. Let's try it on. <laughs> I've never hated anything more in my life that I hate these pants. And I've hated a lot of clothes that I've tried on for my channel. These pants are so terrible. Like every single thing about it. Let's go through an itemized list of everything I hate about the Honda Forever 21 pants. First of all, the material. It is terrible. I don't even know what to compare it to because it is just the worst. It is like, if, if those sandals I tried on in my Instagram ads video were Satan's sandals, these are Satan's pants. Satan's putting together a whole wardrobe and this is definitely part of it. <laughs> the fit is so bad. Granted, these are men's pants, so I shouldn't be too critical, but they are so tight on my thighs and then like, pretty loose everywhere else, like the waist and like the ankles, but the thighs are so tight. Third thing, so the zipper, the zipper right here has nothing protecting it on the inside. So you can see there's like a little cover here. There's no cover on the inside. Most pairs of shorts have a little piece of fabric on the inside to keep you from zipping your skin. This does not have that. So I zipped up my skin the first time I put them on. And every time I've zipped them since, I have to pull it out and then zip it to keep myself from zipping my skin. It is very uncomfortable, very inconvenient, and now my skin hurts from getting zipped. All of this, not even to mention the design, which makes me look like uh, the girl from that Disney Channel movie, what was it called? Motocross. I looked like the girl from Motocross. I have vivid memories of watching that on my parents' couch when I was like eight years old. 
And you know what? I feel like the only time this would be appropriate to wear is A, if you are, you know, going to ride BMX bikes, or B, you're watching motocross. And this isn't even like motocross gear. This is like Honda. This is like car racing. But I can't, like, I just, uh, I don't get it. And the, the other problems with some of the other items were more like how branded they were, like the Pepsi thing, the Hot Cheetos, the USPS. This isn't super branded. It only says Honda here and then has like the Honda logo on the front. So at least they're a little more unique than just having the logo, but the pants are so bad. They're so bad that they're kind of overshadowing the top. The top isn't that bad. Like it's not really my style. Is it anyone's style? It's just like a Honda racing jersey, but it's not bad. Like the fit is fine. It's breathable. It's comfortable. It's soft. It's got like some fun color blocking, I guess. So, uh, okay, wearability of the pants is a fat zero. Just no way, uh-uh, absolutely not. Wearability of the top, you know, it's cute, it's cropped, it fits nicely. I'd give it like, you know, maybe a, a six out of 10 for wearability. Quality on the top, pretty good. Quality on the pants, terrible. And the outfit as a whole, uh, this collaboration as a whole, uh, at least it's more inventive than Pepsi. But in terms of the actual materials and the look, I definitely hate it more than I hated Pepsi. So this is a tough one. What should I give it? I would say like all right, we're going with Skylar. It's a four out of 10, but at least I can go channel motocross. So thanks for watching. So what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite outfit? Is there a collaboration that you're actually interested in purchasing? I feel like I am still not fully convinced about this, even though I do think like it's kind of gimmicky and kind of funny. I don't know if I would actually wear a lot of these items. It was fun to try them though. I'm glad I got to try them. I hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight into what these clothes are actually like. I don't know who Forever 20 one's gonna end up collaborating with next it maybe it'll be like Clorox I'll have like a bleach me on my top maybe like Mr. Clean the brawny man I don't know the doors are wide open but if you guys want to see me investigate more of their weird clothes and weird collaborations be sure to subscribe let me know down in the comments like I said I would love to have you in my little YouTube family we're on the road to 1 million subscribers and I post every Tuesday and Friday so lots of new content for you anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video be confident love your body and I'll see you on Friday with another new video. Bye. Oh my gosh. Okay. I put on the hot Cheetos bodysuit that is literally three sizes too small for me just to wear for the thumbnail. Cause I thought it would make a good thumbnail. And now I can't stop laughing because I'm like <laughs> squeezing out of it in every way. It looks so ridiculous. It feels like I'm wearing like shapewear because it's so tight fitting and like fitted. Oh my gosh. Okay. Enjoy. Here you go. Thanks for watching.